one, chapter four of A Tale of Two Cities is called The Preparation. Mr. Jarvis Lorry arrives in Dover, where he takes a hotel room and orders one for a young lady arriving later that day. At breakfast, he talks with the waiter about Telson's Bank, which has had flourishing offices in London and Paris for about 150 years, saying it's been 15 years since he came from France. In the evening, Miss Lucille Manette, a pretty blonde 17-year-old who believes she's an orphan, arrives from London, and Laurie goes to meet her. Lucy has received a letter from Telson's mentioning a discovery regarding her father's property and advising her to meet with their representative, Mr. Lorry, who explains that he was the advisor and trustee for a French doctor from Beauvais, like Lucy's father, and the doctor's English wife. Lorry insists he's there on business, that he is a mere machine, but he can't bring himself to tell Lucy the truth that her father is alive. Lucy quickly recognizes Lori as the man who accompanied her to England after her mother's death 15 years earlier. Resuming his story about the anonymous doctor from Beauvais, Lori describes how the man was untraceably locked away in a prison by a powerful enemy, leaving his wife to plead unsuccessfully with the king and queen for information about her husband. She then had a daughter, and to spare her daughter more pain, told her the doctor was dead. Lucy falls on her knees, begging him for the truth. Lori cracks and explains her father has been found, but is likely greatly changed. The doctor is at the home of his former servant in Paris and is using a different name. They must take him out of France secretly without asking questions. Lucy is in shock and Lori calls for assistance. A ruddy masculine woman rushes in and tenderly helps Lucy lie down. Lori wonders if the woman will be accompanying them to France. Telson's bank provides services for people in the same situation Lucy Manette's parents were in. Her mother was English, her father was French, and in order to have a trustee who could handle the financial affairs of both families, such couples required a bank that had offices in both countries. Readers see once again how kind-hearted Jarvis Laurie is. Having been the trustee for the family and taking care of Lucy's needs since she was small, it's hard for him to break difficult news to her. He tries to make up a story, but she immediately realizes he's saying her father is alive, and Lori caves and admits the truth. Lori also struggles to tell Lucy her father has been changed by his long imprisonment. Lori may be insisting to Lucy that this interaction will be all business, but his reactions reveal that he has a very personal connection with Dr. Manette. The theme of resurrection comes up again in this chapter, and for Lucy, it seems like a true resurrection from the dead. Because she's 17 and Dr. Manette has been in prison for 18 years, she's never actually met her father.